Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I am Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Dance. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's a thing, a true factual statement, a mm -hmm. an event, a life event. Um, what else is it? A life event. Yeah. Is it? Well, it's because it said life sentence and then I was clutching at straws uh, trying to get something see. in there. And see what you did Life there. event was the only thing that came to mind. Right. Uh, this is life sentence fouls in the NBA. Oosh. Life sentence fouls. Yeah, tough fouls, I'm thinking. Right. I think Hardcore one of the fouls. really bad ones. There was one that I, I'm sure there was grey area about, but we saw in a video where someone put their foot under someone as they were coming back mm, down. We did. And when he, his foot landed on, he rolled yeah, his ankle. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that was a bit of a scumbag one, but mm. it was also debatable, if you know what I mean. Be careful putting your foot in the places where someone's going <laughs> to land on it, especially well, the size yeah. of these guys. Yeah. Um, might do damage to the guy coming down, but you also might damage yourself. True. I wonder how bad it has to be to get a. A lifetime ban from the NBA. Oh, I don't think there's a lifetime ban. I think there's just that's the phrase. That you oh, is it just a bit of clickbait? Yeah. yeah. Nah. Yeah. Right. Well, let's have a look then. This is life sentence fouls in the NBA. That is terrible. And Berea is injured. We gotta start this infamous list with this brutal elbow hit by Andrew Bynum, oh, no. completely knocking JJ Berea to the ground. In a game, that's yeah. disgusting. Amen to that. His teammate Derek Fisher sent Louis Scola to the floor with this hockey-like attack. Except Scola didn't wear any protective uniform. In game one. And tonight he and uh, Brooks. Oh, what a shot by Fisher! Right in the face of Scola. There was meaning to that. And Bruce Bowen really. He had what? teeth marks in his head. I was going to say, is that what cut his head? Do you I think? think so. I think he got his... his. Yeah, I think he got his. You know what I don't get though? Is I've not seen it. So none of the other. No one gets involved. Just like everyone's just walking around, like hey, if that was yeah. one of my teammates, I'd be right <clears> over. It's a bit right. different. Yeah. Maybe it's just different in football, things yeah. like that, I don't know. But uh, We've seen NBA stuff, though, where everyone's jumped in when someone mm. gets hurt or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But maybe it's less of the culture to do that and just let the ref do his job. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Maybe, yeah. Kicked Wally Zerbiak in the face with this karate move. Wally Zerbiak is kicked in the face by Bruce Bowen. Oh, he that seemed, and wake up, Zerbiak. Rondo on a nice release. Oh, hard foul! A flagrant foul. He might be thrown out for that. He should be thrown out for that. Marvin Williams literally grabbed Rajan Rondo and slammed Wrestling him down to the hell, ground. Yeah. Rondo was evidently in shock and pain as we see Ooh. this again. Robert Ory went a step further and bodied Nash, who was sprinting down the court, which resulted in him crushing into the scorer's table. Nash in backcourt, and he's oh, knocked hard by Ory. Nash is all over him, a dirty foul by Robert Ory. After a made free throw, PJ Brown lifted Charlie Ward like he was his son and flipped him over into the stands. It's hard not to laugh at this one. JJ Borea got hit again, this time with a slap in the face by what none other than Ron yeah. Artest. He flew in clumsily enough to hurt his teammate Lamar Odom as well, but at least he made sure that Borea is fine by rubbing him. It's only half his size, wasn't he? Was the other guy kind of in his face, but then he ran into the arm, which kind of shoved the arm into the face a bit more. I not the other guy in the nuts. Yeah. He's the one that changed him. his name, isn't he? <coughs> but he the um, World Peace, or whatever it's called. Is that Ronard Test? I think it might have been. Is by none of is it World Peace? Something like that. It's it's something yeah. like that. Yeah. Right. Other than Ron Artest, he flew in clumsily enough to hurt his teammate Lamar Odom as well, but at least he made sure that Barea is fine by rubbing him on the back. And after this dunk against the Thunder, Meta World Peace was so fired up that he struck James Harden in the head with his elbow. Not the most peaceful celebration, I guess. And a shot, which Harden goes down. Oh, he gets in everywhere, doesn't he? Oh, hey. no. It's not. A He's all in not every single video, Harden, isn't he? Absolutely. Every, we could do, we could do a video about it'd be like the best, the best shoes anyone wears in the NBA and Harden would be in the background <laughs> somewhere. There, yeah. You could do it with the smallest guys and he'd be in it, the biggest guys would be in it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute legends yeah. and the worst players. Ever. Just yeah. everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. That's disgraceful. That's not only ejection, yeah, that's, that's going to be a suspension. Ooh. DeMarcus Cousins obviously had enough of Smart's chippiness, grabbed him by the jersey and threw him on the hardwood. McCallum on the baseline for two. Cousins and Smart. Then here's Kelly Olenek with possibly the most dangerous dirty foul as he dislocated Kevin Love's shoulder, 
Kevin immediately runs to the locker room all in pain. Matthew Della Vedova shows his wrestling moves on Bradley Beal as he drags him down after which Bradley stands up all fiery wanting to fight everyone, including the ref. <laughs> Beal. Ooh. He's dragged down by Della Vedova. And I think this is going to be a foul of the flagrant variety. Got to be. As it should be. Isaiah Thomas was ejected after he smacked Andrew Wiggins oh. in the neck. And Jimmy Butler made sure to check his pulse to see if he'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> for Kevin Love tonight from anywhere. <laughs> On the floor, Andrew Wiggins just took a shot to the face. Isaiah Thomas just clubs him right in the oh. face. Yeah, I mean, right. that is crazy. And Marcus Morris should have been suspended for this awful hit from behind. So a hard foul by Morris, and Doncic's up. He wants to go back at him. And to me, this is clearly a flagrant. Clearly. Remember this iron scream from Nene? Karis Levert was pretty shaken afterwards and had to leave the game. As he was running along Chris Paul, he never saw this wall nearing <laughs> and boom. Pat Bev ran into a wall himself as Steven Adams stood rock solid in his way. Is that a foul if they run into you? I don't you? think so. I don't think it is. That. I think because it happens quite a lot, like blocking, doesn't it? Like that. <clears throat> like yeah, shielding, I don't what you call it. He didn't sort of seem to move towards the guy, did he? He's just just stood his ground. But you just see it happening ground, all the time yeah. when they when they try to throw the ball in from the side, they're like they're all jockeying because people sort of like make a run and his teammate will block the run. Yeah. So he'll yeah. run behind them and he'll stand in the way so he's kind of like so the, the following pack hits yeah. into the guy. Right, okay. Just block, I don't know what you call it, blocking or shielding or yeah. shield, something like that. In that case, it was just running into a brick wall. Yeah, it's <laughs> exactly. like, yeah. yeah. big lad. Yeah. Back in there, back in for the board. Oh, big oh. Big Screening. Screening. Yeah. Yeah. After this missed dunk attempt or whatever this was by Marquise Chris, Jared Dudley somehow decided that Ricky Rubio is the one to blame and Marquise joined them. Brandon Ingram was ejected after he smacked Robbie's head instead of the basketball. Ooh, they, right. they may take a look at that one. And he was trying Ooh, to play the ball, right. but he may have gotten him above the shoulders. Mike Dunleavy first pushed Giannis onto the Kumpo on this play, then ran to the other side to knock down the three, but then got knocked out himself. Look at this. <laughs> on the other end, Dunleavy hits the three and then takes a huge shot from Antetokounmpo. A blatant shot to the rib, sending Dunleavy into the first row of the stands. Speaking of Giannis, he's headlining my new merch line. And look at all the detail <laughs> that's on here. Then check the clock because you know that it's Dame time, baby. And with this shirt, everyone who watches basketball will immediately know who this is. And my personal favorite design, the sage is burning, the third eye is open, the ball handling is impeccable. Guys, I've never asked anything from you, but if you like my work and... Never would have put that face to that voice. If no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Want to support? Check the link in the description at heatcheck.info and get yourself a great looking t-shirt. And when you get it, send me a picture on Instagram so that I can feature you in a video. In game 4 of the 2018 playoffs, down 3-0, DeMar DeRozan probably wanted to go home as fast as he could, so he slapped JC on the forehead. The reason why they're going with the flagrant 2 is they felt that DeMar DeRozan wound up and followed through to the head. And DeMar DeRozan is done. Bobby Portis literally smacked down KCP on this transition layup attempt and even his headband fell off from the hit. Getting ready to swat it. And Ooh. Look at, oh, oh that's wow. gonna, That will be that's, a flagrant. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no question. No question about it. Boy, the, the roundhouse way that Bobby Portis went after him, too. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is definitely going to catch the eye you know of what? the officials. Moore thought that he had an open layup, but CJ sneaked from behind and hugged him around the neck, not so gently on my dad. Leaves it for Moore. Fix up your kitchen. McCollum did the same dirty foul on Gordon Hayward a couple of years earlier, sending him to the parquet floor on the open fast break. And yes, Hayward take it to the rack. He is tied up all oh, and thrown down hard by McCollum. Oh, very unnecessary. But nothing compares to this blow Isaiah Thomas got by Malone. Oh, he took a blow to the head. Blood all over his forehead. Isaiah Thomas, Carl Malone did separate. Ooh. Here comes. Chuck Daly's going crazy. Isaiah Thomas hurt badly. Yeah. Nuggets have five. Was it an elbow? Yeah. Elbow right in the head. <clears throat> the yeah. speed Painful. these guys are going and the size That's of like Carmelo we were talking about the other day.
Is it? Was it? Mm. Yeah, to that fast. Catching yeah. an elbow like that's damage. Does a bit of damage. Yeah. Big yeah. lads as well. Elbow. Yeah. 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 On four. And Jokic. Oh, oh no! And you all know the infamous Jokic and Morris situation from last season and Morris missed the rest of the year with this injury. Jeff Teague body slammed Ricky Rubio who was caught off guard and went crashing into the first row. Here come the Jets. And the Teague I've seen that one before. I'm like, Rubio. Yeah. Rubio gets up in disgust. I mean, that's not a play on the ball. Clearly, it's unnecessary and excessive physical contact. Dwayne Wade took all of his frustration out on Darren Collison, shoving him from behind in the open court. That's an unpleasant surprise, to say the least. Thomas trying to go behind the back and lost it. Oh, look out. Wade with a shove on Collison. This time, Marcus is the one that pushes Embiid to the floor. That's a very good point. And oh! Marcus Smart and Embiid. Embiid's going right back at him. I right. oh, see that left arm come out. That's what he didn't like. Smart pushes him to the floor. That's going to get Smart tossed. Yeah. J.R. Smith pushes Big Al from behind while in the air trying to catch the lob. Alley -oop. And Horford got fouled as he goes crashing to the parquet floor. That's a dirty play. That's a flagrant too, Mike. There's been a bit of like scandal with gambling and stuff, haven't there, with the NBA? Or am I am I making that up? Recently, <coughs> over the years, hasn't uh, there been a few people that if I like, every sport's probably been involved in some kind of yeah, gambling yeah. scandal? Wasn't wasn't there a public thing about refs throwing games or something or taking? Or am I completely don't thinking know. of something else? Don't know. I'm just wondering if anyone's making money on these like, you know, flagrant foul in well, a certain period or the extremely blatant most of them, aren't they? Most of them you think what you're thinking you're not going to yeah. uh, you know get away with it it's not do, do you think if someone won a load of money on one of these calls to be an investigation well <coughs> I, know it, I can only refer to what happens in the english game um not basketball but football yeah um where you know i, I watch for betting trends um what's, yeah. what's going on before i bet and I see what tre what's trending yeah and then sometimes you get like a, a certain player will say like a yellow card within the first 15 minutes and all of a sudden big money goes on it and i'm like i'm on that yeah definitely yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i'm assuming a flagrant is like a red card in football Are yeah they from yeah. the game. I yeah. think okay. that's well. There's a flagrant and a flagrant two, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's two. Uh, so I don't know if like a flagrant is a yellow and a flagrant two is a red. Right. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm not 100 yeah, percent on that. I just know. I just know that there's a separation between right. the two. Mm -hmm. But I'm just always suspicious. Like, why would someone do something that what egregious? I mean, well, just there is another theory behind it, right? I don't know if this. You have to let me know in the comments about basketball because I know it definitely happens in other sports, right? It's, but again, referring to English football, European football, yeah. is that certain players, right, are known to get sent off yeah. when there's a, a big event coming up or a, a certain area where they know they've got the following weeks uh, a game, but the week after that's a holiday, like a break. So what they'll do is they'll get <coughs> sent off knowing they can't play the next game and then the next yeah. week's a holiday, a break. So they've got two weeks <coughs> off. So, so they like, kind of use it to get away to go to, go to something that like the sister's birthday or the mum's yeah, no, mom's yeah. retirement, whatever it, it yeah. may be. I've seen it before when you think players have done it, so so they're off over Christmas, Christmas so things like that, yeah, you know yeah. things like that. So it's it's the same yeah. as like there is literally apps that you can get now that will tell you how to get the most days off work mm. based off bank holidays and things. If yeah. you book off certain days, yeah, he's here. got it. He's he invented it. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> I never thought of it. I never it's thought called Mike's of, app. <laughs> no, I, I never thought of sportsmen <laughs> doing that. And also, if I was a manager and I suspected that, I'd be like, you're still in training. Mm. You're running yeah. laps while we're playing yeah. the game. Mm. You, you know, don't you, you like don't get to sit at home they're chilling. Bigger than, they're bigger than the game now. Some, so some of these are planned, though, even with the managers. Sometimes they need, yeah. in football, mm. like a yellow card and they'll miss, say, the next yeah. match. But the match after that might be like yeah. the biggest match ever yeah. or a so cup fight. back for that. And it might be yeah. a match that they can afford to miss. So like a professional so foul. Yeah, professional foul, get a yellow card, get a booking. Beckham's done it before. He misses it. might be it's either for United or England. They all do it, mate. Yeah, where they get they get a yellow card on purpose so they miss, miss a certain match so yeah. they're free for the yeah. for the one after it or something like that yeah. it's like pre-planned let us know if they do that they in basketball because it. it definitely happens over here I'm yeah. sure they do I'm sure they do and when you push someone who's vulnerable up in the air like that do you recall Josh Jackson the promising rookie from the Suns this dirty foul is probably and sadly the highlight of his career so that's a dangerous play right there a guy goes airborne just give him a shove like that there's some frustration here Kyle Lowry's right there was a push there you see Jackson now Kyle Kuzma did the same thing to Blake Griffin on the break oh. while he was attempting to dunk 
You can cause a serious injury by pushing people like this, and Blake didn't want to do anything with Kuz afterwards. It's pretty rare to see LeBron James getting fouled hard, but Jonas Valanciunas didn't really care who that was as he got his arms around James while he was going to the rim. JV playing with confidence in a hard foul on LeBron James and now trying to help him up and LeBron swings his arm. And I really don't know what else to say oh, about hey. these final two clips. To your screen, you're gonna see it now. It's gonna happen right there. Right there. And they just showed it here on the screen. It's the right arm of Ibaka. And it's not like he's trying to get the arm in any way, shape, or form free from Griffin or he's trying to block him out. He's just taking a chop at him. So yeah, a bit of an unorthodox video, but we'll be back with the classic heat check analysis very soon. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out. That should be like yeah. a flagrant 12 and you should get a free throw. Uh, you should get a, got a shot back, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd be guessing like, maybe like football, one of those players <gasps> in the NBA that are predisposed to be doing things like, like dirty players that... I mean like Fellaini with his elbows. People like, oh, people yeah. like Roy Keane in the past, you know, you get, you know, Vinnie Jones, you get dirty mm. players, don't you? They've got a reputation for, you know, doing bad fouls on people. But you have it in, you have like, um, what do you call them, like enforcers in ice hockey, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. Suppose, so you mean yeah. like an enforcer on the pitch, yeah. you know, like uh, on the court for an yeah. NBA? I think because there's like, minimal yeah. people on the court. Yeah, I don't think you can afford... You're not going to waste someone no. as an enforcer, are right? you? Yeah, yeah that's that. true, yeah. <clears throat> Similarly with ice hockey, I mean, there's not that many people on the, on the ice. But you, also, they're, they're swapping constantly, a, aren't they? It's such a rough sport, yeah. you can just go in and out. So, I mean, you can with basketball, yeah. but I don't think you'd probably put an enforcer in. I don't think you'd be wasted yeah. on that. It's probably not that type of game. I'm just wondering no. whether some players probably foul more than others, so mm. I would guess maybe some are just a bit yeah, dirty. A bit of a reputation, yeah. Yeah, a bit of a yeah. reputation for doing it. Sure there is. Yeah. Harden's yeah. probably one of them, I would guess. <laughs> Harden's everything. He's just involved in everything. Isn't he? yeah. <laughs> Stop. He's on the list for everything, yeah, isn't he? Change his name to Mr. Basketball and just yeah. accept it that he is basketball. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.